Welcome back everybody, Bearded Griller. Here we are part three of building the ultimate barbecue cart. Originally I planned on just resting the grill on the inserts we made for the handles, but once I got my grill grate and some other stuff on there and started loading it with accessories, it didn't feel very stable. So I found these hinges and uh, right here I'm cutting them to length so they're flat. And you'll see here in just a second where I mount them on the sides. I measured out where they landed and I'm gonna put one on all four sides. The angle on the hinge will actually force the grill to sit in the center and it's really stable. I did clean up the ends with an angle grinder and beveled them just a little bit so they'd fit underneath the lip of the grill a little tighter. You'll notice on the left I added an extra block so I had something to mount one of my hinges to. And uh, if you decide to use this method, Make sure you get hinges that are solid metal. They don't have a plastic insert in the middle. I'm pretty sure that would melt on you and just cause a bunch of problems. Here I'm just using a self-centering drill bit to mount these so they're all the exact same height. I just uh, set the height of the top of the hinge a little above the top of the table and I figured that with the angle it would land my grill right about where I want it. If you haven't done so already, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe, like, share button. I uh, really appreciate all the help. So now we're going to mount the grill. I just put the hinges out a little bit and then just walk them in one at a side. You can see it actually lifts the grill up just a little bit. It's nice and stable. In my efforts to find a different way to mount the grill, I came across a company called Unknown Barbecue. Uh, they do make some mounts, they just wouldn't work for my application. But I did find this really handy hinge that they make. So I've got to notch the tabletop for it to fit on the bottom side here. So I've just got tape over everything and I clocked the grill and the lid with the vent in the position that I wanted it. And here I'm just getting the measurement for where I want the hinge to land on the top lid and marking it out so I can cut the table and then we'll get everything ready to go. So you start by positioning the top hinge resting against the bottom lip as close as you can. And they recommend starting with a pilot hole, so I'm using a self-centering drill bit and then I'll move up to the correct size hole for the... So I believe I uh, used a quarter inch drill bit to round those out real quick and then I pulled the tape off and mounted the top hinge and now I'm attaching the bottom hinge and figuring out exactly where it lands and I'm going to tape it in place and then I will pilot drill those and drill those out so I can add those other bolts to secure the bottom. As you can see my tape kept falling off so once I got the top two pilot drilled I went ahead and drilled those out and just slid the bolts through to hold the hinge in place. A uh, clean empty garbage can works great for holding your grill like this if you don't have the legs on it anymore like I do. I really like this hinge. Uh, it seems super sturdy. It's made out of stainless steel. That detent pin slides in and out so if you want to take the lid completely off you can and uh, it has a locking position for the upward position as well. So here I was just double checking my measurement. I grabbed the right size hole saw for when I marked out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this out with the jigsaw after I get done drilling it out with the hole saw. I'll clean that up and then I'm gonna touch it up with a little bit of black paint. And uh, Bob's your uncle, she's done. Looks like a nice perfect fit. You got plenty of clearance on all sides. Uh, wiggled it around as much as it will on those brackets. It's not going to touch. Slide the lid on top. Line everything up. Slip the pin in place. And it's just that easy. I really like this kit. Um, unknown barbecue hit a home run with this one. Slides right up and locks right in. Feels really secure when it's in the upward position. That's it for this episode. Make sure you check back next week and see what we do as we finish up our ultimate barbecue cart.